Hi, I'm Jeannie. Welcome to Mimi Craft, your home for all things creative and DIY on a budget. I make all the mistakes so you don't have to. Today we're going to be making a neutral valentine door hanger using this valentine door hanger from Dollar Tree. The first thing I did was to remove the ribbon holding all the hearts together. I found that once I removed one or two of the staples, I was able to pull up on the ribbon to remove the rest. Now pulling out all the staples left both high spots and holes in the hearts, so I took a razor scraper and leveled them out. Next I took some of Dollar Tree's spackling and filled in the holes at first with my fingers and then later on with the spatula to make everything as smooth as I could. Next I took a damp sponge to smooth everything out. I found that this works better than sandpaper. It's a little more efficient and uh, I made sure to pick the dirtiest sponge in the house. Next I took some chalk paint. This happens to be Waverly in the color plaster and painted six of the hearts. I like to start with the edges, it just makes it easier to handle everything. Once all the edges were complete and dry, I painted the front surfaces, or I should say the back surfaces actually, of all of the hearts. Uh, it took me about three coats of paint to get really full coverage. This is some lace that I purchased at Hobby Lobby some time ago. It was a mustache. And you can see that it's a little bit too wide for the project. I'll take care of that in a little bit. On top of that, I added some Dollar Tree lace heart ribbon. Right here I'm just figuring out how much I'm going to need for the project before I cut it. The lace was a little too white for my liking, so I took a really dry brush and using the plaster color, I painted over the lace. To make the dark lace a little bit less wide, I folded over the top a little bit and pressed it down with an iron. Now the heart lace fits a whole lot better. Then with the Aileen's Tacky Glue, I glued the flap down. Then I glued the heart lace to lay over that. Now it's time to attach this lace to the first heart. I decided to put it on an angle. I'm going to use the tacky glue again. Um, we're going to use a combination of tacky glue and hot glue. It's on a little bit crooked. I'm going to straighten it out, I promise. Putting a little bit of tacky glue on the side. And after I fold it over, I'm going to use some hot glue to quickly attach it to the back. You can see here I finally got smart and put on a finger protector. I've uh, burned off enough fingerprints already. I wasn't satisfied with how plain this looked so I decided to distress it. I started out with some sandpaper, 
that was taking a pretty long time and then quickly realized that a utility knife was a little bit quicker and more efficient. On to the second heart. I did the distressing first before I did the design. On this one I made a twine flower using twine from Dollar Tree. I started by hot gluing the twine directly to the heart. I started making loops, uh, hot gluing them every several until I got the pattern that I liked. This is meant to be kind of messy, so don't worry about your loops being perfect. Next, I selected a heart shape from a package of wood stickers I got from Dollar Tree. I don't really trust the adhesive, so I took it off and I'm going to be putting it on with some hot glue. On to the third design. I distressed the front first, then flipped it over and glued a piece of Dollar Tree twine to the back. Then I began wrapping the twine around the heart, back and forth until I got a pattern that I was satisfied with. I made sure to wrap the twine tightly. When I was done wrapping, I cut the twine and secured it with some hot glue. I also added hot glue to several areas on the back to keep the twine from slipping. I finished it with another sticker from that sticker pack. Now it's time for the hangers. I used Dollar Tree decorative nautical rope, measured out a 24 inch piece, and cut it with a pair of scissors. This rope was too wide for the size of the heart, so I very carefully unwound it so that I would have three separate pieces for the three hangers. I cut the first hanger at 24 inches. The second hanger at 21 inches. And the third hanger at 18 inches. To attach the hangers, you're gonna need either some clips, these are Dollar Tree clips, or rubber bands. I started with the longest heart. I took the rope and gently unraveled the edges. You can see the rope is actually folded in half. This will give us a 12 inch length. And I unraveled those edges to give myself a lot of surface area for the glue. Again, using the Aileen's Tacky Glue, I drenched those edges so we could get a really good hold. You can't use hot glue for this part because it just dries too quickly. Next, I put glue on all the different pieces of twine because those are the areas that are gonna be contacting the back of the hanger.
I press the back on and then use some rubber bands to hold them tightly together. For some reason, I grabbed the shortest one next, but doesn't really matter. Again, I'm using the Aileen's Tacky Glue, and this time I'm going to use some of the Dollar Tree clips to hold it together until the glue sets. I use small pieces of paper towel to protect the project from uh, the clamps on the clips. Repeated the same for the last hanger. Carefully rewound each of the hangers to look like rope again. I left her enough room to accommodate a doorknob or handle and glued each rope into place. I love the way these turn out and I hope you do too. Here are a couple alternative ways to display them. Thank you so much for watching. Please take a minute now to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. It really helps your girl out. Till we meet again, bye-bye.